Picture this, a cozy evening, perhaps with a cup of your favorite warm drink, nestled on your couch, and ready for a cinematic journey into the past. As the screen flickers to life, a sense of anticipation fills the air. You're about to dive into the world of 1960s Midnight Lace. The very title carries an air of mystery, a promise of intrigue that beckons you further. Maybe it was a late-night TV indulgence or a well-thought-out movie night with friends. Either way, your first encounter with this classic is etched in your memory. Was it the elegant fashion of the era that caught your eye? The suspenseful plot that kept you on the edge of your seat? Or perhaps it was the enchanting performances that transported you to another time? As the story unfolded, maybe you found yourself entangled in the suspense, trying to unravel the mysteries alongside the characters. And oh, the suspense, that feeling of being simultaneously thrilled and mystified, the uncertainty that gripped you until the very end. Fast forward to today, and you're here, ready to relive those memories and dive into some captivating facts about the movie that gave you a taste of 1960s allure. Did you know that Midnight Lace was an adaptation of a play, adding a layer of theatrical sophistication to its cinematic charm? And speaking of charm, the cast's chemistry behind the scenes mirrored the on-screen tension, making the entire experience even more immersive. So, settle in as we journey through some lesser-known tidbits about the film, shedding light on its creation and the context that made it an unforgettable piece of cinema. Get ready to uncover the hidden stories and details that will deepen your appreciation for this timeless classic. After all, every movie has its own story, beyond the scripted lines and dramatic scenes, waiting to be discovered. So grab your metaphorical magnifying glass and let's explore the secrets and surprises that Midnight Lace holds. Are you ready to step back in time and immerse yourself in the glamour and suspense of an era gone by? Let's embark on this cinematic adventure together, where the past and present collide, and memories are rekindled. Get ready, because the curtain is about to rise on a journey of nostalgia and discovery. And remember, the past has a way of weaving its magic into the present, reminding us of the beauty and intrigue that have stood the test of time. Doris Day's Oscar-nominated wardrobe in Midnight Lace in the glitzy world of 1960 cinema. One film stood out not just for its gripping suspense but also for the stylish ensembles that adorned its leading lady. Midnight Lace, directed by David Miller, brought Doris Day back to the silver screen after a decade-long hiatus, showcasing her in a tale of mystery and danger. However, it wasn't just the plot that caught the attention of audiences, it was the meticulously crafted costumes that added an extra layer of allure to the film. The person responsible for Day's glamorous attire was none other than Irene, the renowned single-named costume designer. Irene's return to the film industry after a decade was prompted by her friend Doris Day's request. The collaboration proved to be a stroke of genius, as Irene's intricate designs not only captured the essence of the era but also contributed to the film's overall atmosphere of elegance and suspense. Irene's exceptional work on Midnight Lace earned her a second Oscar nomination for costume design. Her ability to bring characters to life through clothing was undeniable, and the recognition she received was a testament to her artistry. Tragically, just two years after her work on the film, Irene's life took a somber turn. She met a tragic end by jumping from a window on an upper floor of Hollywood's Knickerbocker Hotel. Her passing cast a shadow over her brilliant career and the impact of her contributions to the world of cinema. Among the notable details that added to the film's allure was the car driven by Anthony, played by Sir Rex Harrison. The sleek vehicle he used to speed away was a 1956 or 1957 Ferrari 250 GT. A true rarity, fewer than 120 of these cars were ever manufactured, all featuring left side drive due to their limited production. This exquisite automobile added a touch of sophistication to the movie's visual landscape, reinforcing the film's commitment to showcasing opulence and luxury. In the world of classic cinema, Midnight Lace remains a pivotal moment. Doris Day's collaboration with the talented costume designer Irene brought a touch of elegance to a suspenseful narrative, leaving an indelible mark on film history. Irene's tragic fate may have dimmed her light prematurely, but her work continues to shine on screen, a testament to her enduring legacy. In an effort to propel John Gavin into Hollywood's upper echelon of leading men, Universal International strategically cast him in the 1960 film Midnight Lace, part of a slew of high-profile productions aimed at promoting him as a potential rival to the era's reigning male star, Rock Hudson. This strategic move saw Gavin's versatile performances in various genres, including his portrayal of Janet Leigh's fiancé in Alfred Hitchcock's iconic Psycho and a role in the epic Spartacus. While Gavin's rise to stardom took center stage, Midnight Lace also showcased a captivating opening sequence. The dense fog enveloping the London setting was referred to as a pea super, a term emblematic of proper London terminology. This atmospheric choice set the tone for the film's suspenseful narrative, shrouding the story in an air of mystery and intrigue. Interestingly, the London scenes that lent the film its distinctive ambience were executed by doubles and the second unit. This meticulous approach allowed the filmmakers to create a seamless portrayal of the city while maximizing authenticity.
and production efficiency, Midnight Lace remains a notable entry in the constellation of 1960 cinema. Its role in propelling John Gavin's career forward, combined with its innovative depiction of foggy London streets and strategic filmmaking techniques, cements its place as a cinematic gem of its time. In the grand tapestry of 1960s cinematic achievements, Midnight Lace shines as a testament to the art of film promotion, atmospheric storytelling, and the craftsmanship that goes into creating a memorable motion picture. In 1960, the thriller film Midnight Lace captivated audiences with its suspenseful narrative and star-studded cast. However, behind the scenes, tensions and emotional intensity marked the production in ways that have only recently come to light. The movie featured Sir Rex Harrison alongside Doris Day, but Harrison's retrospective reflections on the film were notably dismissive. In his memoirs, penned near the end of his life, Harrison barely acknowledged the movie, revealing his lack of fondness for the script. Moreover, he propagated the false notion that Day's collapse was prompted by the pressure to salvage the film. In truth, Day's ordeal was linked to her dedicated method acting, rather than any script-related strain. In a pivotal scene, where Day's character is tormented by a menacing phone call, the emotional toll proved overwhelming. Mian Aloy, an esteemed actress and co-star, recounted how Day's authenticity in the moment was so profound that even after director David Miller yelled cut, Day's tears continued to flow unabated. Witnesses described her being gently led to her dressing room, a poignant reminder of the depth she invested in her performance. The impact of Midnight Lace extended beyond the set for Doris Day. Vowing to never again delve into the thriller genre, she declared that the emotional drain from the film was too taxing. This promise she upheld, as her subsequent career choices leaned heavily toward comedic roles. Until her retirement eight years later, Day remained true to her word, etching Midnight Lace as a defining crossroads in her cinematic journey. The suspense of Midnight Lace extended beyond the silver screen, as the intricate interplay between cast, emotions, and the lasting legacy of the film's impact continues to intrigue, a testament to the power of storytelling and the artistry of those who bring it to life. In a riveting behind-the-scenes account from her autobiography, Doris Day revealed an intensely emotional moment during the making of the 1960 film Midnight Lace. During a terror-filled scene, Day drew upon a haunting personal memory of her first husband's abusive actions, translating real fear into her performance. Day's distress was so palpable that she collapsed in a genuine faint after the scene's completion, prompting a temporary production shutdown. The poignant episode showcased Day's unparalleled dedication to her craft, leaving an indelible mark on the film's suspenseful atmosphere. Beyond the screen, Midnight Lace marked a significant collaboration. It stood as the second joint effort between Universal International and Arwen Productions, a company co-owned by Doris Day and her then-husband Martin Melcher. Their partnership demonstrated a multifaceted commitment to the cinematic world, both in front of and behind the camera, further solidifying Day's influential role in shaping the film industry. The film's intriguing parallels with Alfred Hitchcock's iconic thriller Dial M for Murder added another layer of fascination. Set against the backdrop of London, Midnight Lace and Dial M for Murder shared thematic threads, including a central telephone element and a character named Tony. Notably, John Williams portrayed an inspector in both films, while Anthony Dawson appeared in supporting roles. The convergence extended to the cast, with stars such as Doris Day, John Williams, and Anthony Dawson having ties to Hitchcock's works. Even the musical score revealed a curious connection, as both films boasted orchestras conducted by individuals intricately involved in the film's music. Midnight Lace, a gripping thriller with a touch of personal history, remains a testament to Doris Day's remarkable dedication and cinematic influence. As we bid adieu to the intriguing world of Midnight Lace, let us carry with us the essence of its enigmatic charm. Just as the film's characters navigated the misty corridors of uncertainty, so too do we traverse the labyrinth of our own memories. Midnight Lace isn't just a film, it's a mirror reflecting the layers of our own lives. As the credits roll and the echoes of its suspenseful melodies fade away, take a moment to ponder the delicate threads that connect you to this cinematic masterpiece. Perhaps it's the haunting atmosphere that has lingered in your mind, or maybe it's the palpable tension that kept you on the edge of your seat. Could it be the intricate characters, each one reflecting a facet of your own experiences? Midnight Lace has a way of resonating, unlocking doors to our own emotions and stories. Now, dear friend, I extend an invitation to you, share your thoughts, your favorite scenes, the emotions that welled up within you. Let the whispers of this classic film be heard through your words. Gather round the virtual campfire, and let's weave a tapestry of memories together. In this realm where celluloid dreams dance with reality, thank you for entrusting me with this journey. Your time and curiosity have woven a connection that transcends time and technology. Until we embark on our next adventure, keep the flicker of midnight lace alive in your heart, with gratitude and anticipation for your stories.